Praise Jesus. Praise the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. My dear friends, Jesus Christ is Lord. Jesus Christ is the King of Kings. God sent me to preach to you about Jesus Christ. Hoping that some of you will give your life to Jesus Christ today. Today's message is God's mercy and God's grace. God's mercy and God's grace. Now, mercy is wrapped up with grace. You cannot separate them. Jesus Christ is the mercy of God. And Jesus Christ is the grace of God. And Jesus Christ cannot be divided. Today's message is all about God's grace and God's mercy. You see, God promised us His mercy and His grace through His Son, Jesus Christ. We don't get what we deserve because of His mercy, and we receive the things that we don't deserve because of His grace. And God promises us forgiveness for those who ask Him for it. Listen, my dear friends, forgiveness is not offered and given because we deserve it. No, it is because God has chosen to forgive us through Jesus Christ. And His atonement, atoning for our sacrifice, for His sacrifice, for our sins. The Bible says, without, without shall the blood, there is no forgiveness. So forgiveness was the idea and the only way that God could forgive our sins. There's another way, there's another name given among men that we must be saved, apart from the name of Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is the way, Jesus Christ is the truth, and Jesus Christ is the life. No one comes to the Father except through Him. God the Father has never and will not lower His standard. Sin must be punished. And all have sinned and fell short of glory of God. So the Holy God cannot tolerate, cannot overlook, and is not going to turn His back and forget about our sin. No. Sin must be punished. And sin was punished on the cross of Calvary in the person of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. You see, the Bible says the wages of sin is dead. But God has provided a way and a way out for sin to be dead. And that sin was dead through Jesus Christ. The Bible says that it's a free gift of God of eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord to those who believe. So God offers us freely and it comes at the feet of the cross of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. There's no other way. It is free, yes, but it costs Jesus Christ daily. Now, God promised us to everyone who believes, us as believers, His grace, us as believers, His mercy, both come through Jesus Christ. Now, if you don't believe in Jesus Christ, you don't have the grace. If you don't believe in Jesus Christ, you will not have the mercy. The Bible says, whosoever believes in him is not condemned. But whoever does not believe is condemned already. Because he has not believed in the name of the only Son of God. So my dear friends, there is no forgiveness if you don't believe. There is no mercy if you don't believe. There is no grace if you don't believe. Without mercy and grace, they were intertwined together with God's plan for mankind. Listen, like I said, you cannot separate them. Put it down, mark it down, put it straight. They are inseparable. For Jesus Christ cannot be divided. We cannot separate that. Do you need the mercy of God? Yes. Do you need the grace of God? Yes. 
Jesus Christ is the mercy of God and Jesus Christ is the grace of God that I'm preaching to you today. Listen, we do not deserve it. God's mercy and His grace. Grace is undeserved merit. God undeserved love. God undeserved salvation. His forgiveness, His kindness, our relationship with Him, our fellowship with Him, and our friendship with Him is because of His power, His mercy, His grace, and His love. And my dear friend, finally, He's abundantly blessing to us. We are not getting what we deserve, which is internal punishment because sin must be punished. The wages of sin is death. So we deserve internal punishment for sin against the Holy God. But because of His mercy and His grace, He gave us a way out. Because of Jesus Christ, He rescued us and He reconciled us back to Himself. Grace is God giving us what we do not deserve. Mercy is God not giving us what we deserve. Instead of all receiving punishment, He gives us grace and mercy. Because of Jesus Christ, bear all things on the cross of Calvary when He died for all our sins. So don't get the idea that you can continue living the same way you are living. As if Christ has not died, and resurrected again from death. Friend, it's because he loved us. Without his death, without his death on the cross, we are doomed forever. But because of our many sins, because of our many transgressions, because all have sinned, unfortunately, to the glory of God. But due to God, indefinite mercy and grace and love, that he gave us his only begotten son, Jesus Christ, who came and died for us upon that cross of Calvary, that you may receive mercy and that you may receive grace in the time of need. Do you want mercy of God? You can receive it today that you are alive. Do you want the grace of God? You can receive it today that you are alive. But after you die, it is finito, it is finished. There's no way back. No mercy, no forgiveness after you die. No medicine after death. Right now, you can receive the blood of Jesus Christ that's already been atoned for your sin. All you have to do, invite Jesus Christ into your heart. Receive him as your Lord and as your Savior. And God will show you mercy and his grace. Because Jesus Christ is our mercy. Jesus Christ is our grace. Jesus Christ is our escape good. My dear friend, the scripture says, that while we are sinners, Christ died for our sin. While we are yet sinners, Christ come after us, Christ pursue us, and Christ pursue us. Because he loved us. We love him because he first loved us. You see, I came to Christ not because I went to him. No, it's because he pursued me. Because now I have to respond. To him calling me. Today God is calling you. Are you willing to give your heart to him? Because he loves you dear my dear friends. He loves you so much. And that love cost him his life. His precious blood on the cross of Calvary. That I'm preaching to you today. When Adam and Eve sinned against the Holy God. They were hiding. But the heartbroken God. Was looking for them. To show them mercy. And his grace. You see, God loves you so much, my dear friends. I don't care what the devil tells you. I don't care what the enemy says. The enemy only comes to steal and kill and destroy. But Jesus Christ come that we may have life and have life abundantly. It is all about his mercy and it is all about his grace. Ephesians chapter 2, verse 8 or 9. The Bible says, For it is by grace that you have been saved through faith. And this is not of yourself. It is the gift of God, not by work, so that no one can boast. Nobody can boast before God that you make it into the kingdom of God by your good works, by your good aiming, or by your good looks. No. It is by the grace of God that you have been saved. 
Amen. It is by his mercy that you are alive today. So today, go to Jesus Christ and he will show you mercy and he will show you his grace and his love right now that you are alive. Before you die, get right with God. My dear friends, it is faith in Jesus Christ alone. The only way to get you right with God, not by woman effort, he can do it. It's because grace is a gift from God to us. Grace is God's gift. Grace is God giving himself to us freely, without any preconditions. That means God values us. That means God loves us because of his mercy and his grace. God offers our salvation free. Instead of wrath, it's a free gift. All you have to do, invite Jesus Christ into our heart and receive that free gift. You don't have to do anything, my dear friend. Everything has been done on the cross of Calvary. But let me say you, and let me tell you, my dear friend, this amazing gift cost God. Yes, it's free to us, but it cost Jesus Christ everything. It cost him dearly. So God giving us his grace freely. And God giving us his mercy freely. And yet, we dishonor God by being disobedient, by failing to love him as we should. God's grace is a gift. Salvation is free, but it's not a reward for doing good things. Salvation, it is free. It is not a reward for doing good works. When you are saved, of course, you have to do good works. But you cannot earn it. You cannot earn it, my dear friend. Grace is a gift that you cannot earn. Grace is free. But it calls Jesus Christ everything. You see, my dear friend, what have you done right now with the grace of God that God given to you? Because the Bible says, the grace of God has appeared to all men. No more excuses. You cannot give God excuse on the last day for what God is a consuming fire. I'm telling you right now, my dear friend, grace is a free gift. Mercy is a free gift from God to us. We must accept it with open hand and receive Jesus Christ as our Lord and our Savior. Have you ever considered what a marvelous gift that God gave to us? Have you ever considered what Jesus Christ did for us on the cross of Calvary? What he did for us on the cross of Calvary is not a cup price. It's not a cut out job. Jesus Christ done it well and he said it is finished. Now you cannot be a disgrace to the grace of God. So my dear friends, by his grace we are saved. Ephesians chapter 2 verse 4. But because of his great love for us, God who is in rich in mercy made us alive with Christ even where we are dead in trespassions. It is by his grace that you have been saved. That's the amazing grace of God. So friend, every other religion is all about doing things, but only Christianity is all about receiving that which has already been done on the cross of Calvary. Every religion is about doing rituals, trying to appease their God. But my dear friend, all you have to do right now, the Bible says without faith, it is impossible to please God. When you come to Jesus Christ, you have to believe. You have to believe. The Bible says it reward those that believe. And I'm telling you, my dear friend, it is finished. No more good works. No more good looks. No more good earning. You cannot earn your way into the kingdom of God. All you have to do is to believe. Have you believed? Have you believed, my dear friend? Salvation is a free gift from God to every one of us. We don't deserve it. We don't merit it. But because of his mercy and because of his grace that he saved us. And my dear friends, that's why I love Jesus Christ. I don't have to be good to come to him. I just have to come the way I am and he will show me mercy. Likewise you, my dear friend. If you come the way you are, he will show you mercy. Because our God is a merciful God. The message today is what? God's mercy and God's grace. Invite Jesus Christ into your heart. And he will give you everlasting life. If you believe, only if you believe, may I bless in the mighty name of Jesus. My dear friends, 
Jesus Christ is Lord. Amen. Hallelujah.